As you might know, uh, the cholinergic system is maybe the first system that shows degeneration in Alzheimer's disease. There are several papers around that show that this degeneration starts earlier than even the amyloid deposition and it is closely linked to cognitive disturbances. And uh, it is already justified to have cholinergic treatment by the fact that most of the approved drugs for Alzheimer's disease are interfering with the system, the acetylcholine esterase inhibitors. But an M1 agonist has one big advantage. It is not depending on endogenous acetylcholine because it's an autosteric molecule. It mimics the activity of acetylcholine. And as we all know, the activity of acetylcholine uh, <coughs> uh, esterase inhibitors goes down when the disease progresses because cholinergic nerve endings are gone, but the M1 receptors are well preserved. So an M1 receptor can uh, continue to have a positive activity. And the stimulation of M1 receptor has a pleiotrophic activity. It's not only influencing cognition directly, it also influences very important pathogenetic pathways of the disease, uh, like modulation of uh, uh, alpha secretase and meaning that APP will be cleaved more in the anti-amyloidogenic pathway and also the uh, block of tau phosphorylation uh, and many, many other activities, even influencing uh, neuroinflammation, which is a hot topic on this meeting, by the way, by interaction of tram shedding. Yes, you know, NSC001 is around already a long time and we uh, took over the further development a couple of years ago. And the study we are doing, or we did, was a study in healthy aged individuals and we investigated those response relationship and were first interested in safety. That's the most important before we go to the patient. We did also investigation of the influence on CSF and plasma biomarkers, where we found some significant effect on tau phosphorylation, for example, in this study. And we were interested if we can pick up some functional effects and indeed uh, we found that the uh, treatment of the drug is counteracting brain electrophysiology, what means changing uh, quantitative EEG parameters exactly in the opposite way to what happens in Alzheimer's disease. This is a strong indication for us that it might be pro-cognitively active, as it is in all animal models. It's investigated in more than 12 animal models, and this gives us now the hope that Soon after the meeting is finished and I'm back in the office, we start organizing the first phase two proof of concept study. Uh, the safety data were overwhelming because you might know that the uh, initial uh, M1 agonists had a problem that they had a lot of cholinergic side effects because they were not too specific to the M1 receptor. They had crosstalk to other types of receptors. And uh, this drug is highly specific and so in the dose range we investigated from 2.5 milligrams per day up to 15 milligrams per day we could not find any specific uh, side effects most of the side effects were more procedure related because there was 24 hour csf collection additional lumbar puncture and so on so you can always see accumulation of side effects when we did a lot of manipulation with the patient